Jamie Andreas. You know, I was in a lesson the other day with a student who wanted to learn the beginning to Don't Fear the Reaper. And some interesting points came up as I was showing him uh, the best way to do that that I wanted to share with you. And these are concepts that um, are from my system for learning and playing the guitar called the Principles of Correct Practice for Guitar. And uh, here they relate to how to do the left hand fingering in the best way. Now, um, most people when they would attempt this, if they even do think about their fingering here on these left hand parts, they would probably pick up their fingers and go into each position. That's something I call dive bombing where you pick up everything, go back down. It's actually the hardest way to do things with a left hand because um, you have to find your way each time and also because you're going to what I call the floating arm each time, which is when your arm is supporting itself. Now, as opposed to the floating arm, we have a concept called the heavy arm, which I would say all really developed guitar players are using simply because it's just better and it is where we relax the muscles of the upper arm so that they add their weight to the fingers. They stay relaxed and we get what we want with completely less effort and that's always a good thing because uh, you will just have so much more endurance in your playing. So there's a way of achieving this even in a simple uh, fingering like this where we would go about it like this. We would play the first two notes, which are parts of the A minor chord, because this pattern is just based off of A minor, G, F, back to G, same as a million other rock songs. But we don't use the whole chords, we just use parts of them. So um, I would put my first finger on the fourth string, second fret, my second finger here on the third string, second fret. You pick these notes. Okay, I use alternate picking for that. Now, the trick is this, that I hold the one down and I keep my arm very relaxed from the shoulder on down, really neck on down. And with that one down, it guides me to place my fingers two over here on the fifth string, second fret, and third finger on the sixth string, third fret, parts of the G chord. I keep that finger down until I get these here. Then I let go. Pick the notes I need. Now I have to go into part of an F chord and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold these fingers two and three and then get the one and four down like that. Okay, and then finish the pattern. So, so in reality my left hand never loses contact with the neck which allows me to stay relaxed up here which really improves things that, of course, providing you take the opportunity to stay relaxed because you can because you're supposed to let your arm weight come through down to your fingers. That's a concept we call the heavy arm in the principles. And um, the concept of keeping the fingers down is something I call continuous contact, something I use all the time. Um, there are many pieces of, of a pretty complex nature with a lot of left hand movement that would be uh, virtually impossible to play well if you are not doing things that way. So this is really something that you want to know about and uh, you can expand on that in your own playing. Two things to add here. If your left hand is not properly developed, which means that the muscles here are not going to be developed enough for you to be able to do this, then you might find yourself with a hard time doing this. Uh, of course you'll find yourself having a hard time doing anything because you really need to get those developed in the right way. Uh, so that could make a difference in how it might feel to you as you go to play down here because it's actually pretty, um, I don't want to say difficult, but it's difficult if you're not, your hand's not developed correctly to even get into this position. So you want to know that and you also want to know that once you do, as you work with this, what you want to do is take it very, very slowly. You want to take a metronome and click to a very slow click. I would take at least well, really, I have all my students begin at 60 at four clicks. So you take four clicks for each note and do it that slowly and work it up from there, going then to 80 and 104 
60 at 2, 80 at 2, 100 at 2. And that's a method that will slowly bring this up in speed very accurately so that, uh, you know, everything works together. But main point here being use continuous contact with a heavy arm to make those changes. Oh, that reminds me, that's another good way to do it, to practice it, is to just take the chord positions, forget the picking, just take the chord positions and do the chord positions using the continuous contact and the heavy arm on the right hand. And um, I hope you have fun with that.